a label on here. Whenever you load a magazine of film, you want to label it with how much film, what kind of film, the date, the film type, something called the emulsion number, uh, the magazine number. In this case, it's magazine number M101324. And the roll number. Roll number, you know, if this is the first roll that we're putting on the camera today, then it's going to be roll number one. All right. All right, I'll thread this up and then take a break. All right, I've got to release the eyepiece. This is the one thing that you're not going to be able to see in detail from there, but I will show you individually um, when we come back. I'm just going to rest the eyepiece on the mat box, put the eyepiece leveling rod. I'm just going to disconnect that for now. It's a good idea when you're getting ready to thread the magazine onto the camera is to tilt the camera up ever so slightly. Open the door, and the reason I want to tilt it up is I want the door to stay open, because for the beginners, the door has a little diagram, a little cheat sheet, I like to call it, in case you've forgotten how to thread the film. All right, for purposes of our demonstration, I'm just going to take it off. I take off the top handle. There's two things that are going to prevent the film from fitting into an area of the camera called the gate. These two things are called the registration pin and the pull-down claw. Okay. I'm going to turn the inching knob to slowly advance the mechanism until the pull-down claw is away from the gate. Then there's a little button in here with a red dot on it. I'm going to pull that button straight out and slide it back ever so slightly. And that removes the registration pin from the gate. All right. Before I do that, let's, uh, let's take a look at the gate. There it is. That's the gate of the Panaflex 35mm motion picture camera. Okay. Looks pretty good. Sometimes the assistants will put a little nose grease on it to help the film slide through. I'm serious. <laughs> My assistant is going to hand me the magazine. And when they hand me the magazine, it should have about that much film sticking out of it. Okay. I'm going to set it on the back of the magazine opening. I'm going to push it through with my other hand, lock the magazine on. No, this, once I'm done loading the magazine, the rest of it's done in the light. <laughs> you're expected to expose that few feet of film when you're threading it. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> you, the camera people that are going to be with me in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing this all over again for you guys and, and show you. But basically, there's this, a roller here with sprockets on it. It's called a sprocketed roller. I'm going to release the two locking, what they call keeper arms, one from the top, one from the bottom. I'm going to pull that piece of film. You can only pull from the feed side. So I'm going to pull from the feed side until the film is touching the follow focus mechanism. Okay. Right after the sprocket roller, there's two rollers. It's going to go over one and under the other. So it's going to go over, under, I'm going to slide it into the gate. It's going to go, come out of the gate, there's two more rollers at the bottom. It's going to go over the first one, under the next one. And then it's going to go in between the sprocket roller, kind of curve around these others, and back into the take-up side. This is very rough. Okay. You'll see this up close, for those of you that want to get up close later. At the very top inside the camera, there's a little metal pin that's called a locating pin. And these holes punched in the film are called perforations. I want to line up a perforation on that locating pin. 